Good morning. Um, thought today I would show you the pattern of the Irish Dancer. So just finished this pattern and it's on my website for sale. But I thought you'd like to have a look at it. So um, I, I've done with the same pattern two versions. I've done the straight hair and the curly hair. So I'll talk you through it. Okay, so um, same pattern for both. Really, it's just the hairstyles that are different. So we've got the ballet shoes with the cardboard. So they do stand up. Okay, um, she's got little pants on. Um, the skirt, it's just plain doll, but the skirt has um, a bit of extra decoration on it for an Irish dancer. So um, there's a very easy to do um, two colour. And then what I did was I just embroidered down to make it cross over. So very simple embroidery, a waist. She's got some buttons um, down the front, which is just beads that I stitched on, gold beads. Um, her colours, a lacy collar, okay. Um, she's got her cape on at the back. You put the cape on before the collar. So she's got her cape on at the back. Um, just, you know, you can embroider very fancy, um, you know, Celtic designs. But in this one, I just use the the decoration the um, I did on the skirt. And then I just did some cross stitching up there. Um, her hat is just the basic hair cap. And the plaits are knitted. So with twisted cords, oh, so that's the Irish dancer. So she's a nice doll. And then this, the variation of her, which is the same doll, but it's just the hairstyle, um, is, is the curly haired one. So nowadays Irish dancers have all this wild hair. Um, so I decided I would do the same doll, but then um, give her a different hairstyle. So um, it's just the cook the curls that I always do. It's the same doll exactly, you know, the shoes and the skirt and the pants and the buttons down the front. So it's the same doll, except that I have used the, the how to do the curly hair. There is a video how to do it on my um, YouTube. But um, basically what you do is you get your um, wooden, wooden um, chopsticks and barbecue sticks. So if you look at the hair, um, you've got skinny curls there on barbecue sticks and these fat, these more wavy sort of curls, they would be on chopsticks. So you wind your, your wooden sticks, um, you soak them in some water and, um, and you pat them dry with kitchen roll. Then you cook them in the oven. Um, it's a hundred degrees what you do a Pavlova on, so 100 degrees um, for about half an hour until they dry. And then once they'll stay in, those curls will stay in. That's them forever, you know. And the other thing, a tip for the hair is nobody has um, the same colour hair throughout. Nobody has pure black hair or pure grey hair. You know, there's, there's different tones in your hair. So what there's actually for these curls, there's three different colours of this sort of ginger tan yarn. Okay, so if I'm doing any doll like this, um, I would do that and make sure that I have about three colors um, of the um, three shades of, of the yarn. And it just gives it a nice effect, you know. Um, it's just, a, you don't have to have that. The other thing she has is into her head and I just stitched them right into her head. I made a couple of twisted cords um, and there's a video how to make twisted cords and I stitched it in my head but equally you could put a ribbon on okay so there they are the, the Irish dancers and um, the patterns on my website um, ecdesigns.co.uk okay bye